This is what we're making today, mint salad. This is a bunch of mint. We're gonna pick each leaf off, ensuring that there's no stem. This process took me about 10 minutes. This is cilantro. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna pick each leaf off, ensuring that there's no stem. This is Thai basil. If you can't find Thai basil, just use regular basil. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Next, in a bowl, we're gonna add in one part Thai basil, two parts cilantro, and four parts mint. This will be our salad blend. We're gonna give it a quick mix and then set it aside. This is a whole English cucumber. We're gonna cut off the edges and then cut off about three inches. We're gonna cut this cucumber in half and then cut it in a quarter. After quartering the cucumber, we're gonna de-seed it. We're gonna take half of that cucumber and cut them into little matchsticks, and this will be used as garnish in the middle of our salad. In case you guys are wondering, this salad is Thai inspired. There are multiple variations of Thai salads out there that uses a lot of mint. Next, with the other half of the cucumber, we're gonna quarter and de-seed it again. We're simply going to cut this into quarter inch slivers. This will be used as a topping on top of the salad. Next, we're going to cut this red chili and de-seed it. I was originally going to use a Thai chili, but then I figured that might be too spicy for a salad. If you don't like spice at all, just use a bell pepper. We're simply going to cut this red pepper into strips and then dice them into little cubes. And as the last step for our prep, we're simply going to dice up some garlic and ginger. Now let's make our dressing. In a bowl, we're going to throw in 1 tablespoon of garlic, 2 tablespoons of chilies, and 1 teaspoon of ginger. Then, we're going to add in 2 tablespoons of honey, and 1 tablespoon of sesame oil. Then, we're going to throw in 3 tablespoons of lime juice, one tablespoon of fish sauce, and a quarter cup of peanut oil. We're gonna give this a quick mix and then add in two tablespoons of soy sauce because I forgot to put it in there. And that's all there is to it. Now let's plate. Alright, so that was a super easy recipe. You know, when I first started making videos, I told myself I will never make a salad. And yet, here I am, making a salad. Anyways, we're gonna give the salad a quick mix and then try it. The reason why I didn't toss the salad before plating it was because I didn't want the salad to deflate while I was plating it. Anyways, this salad was so much better than I expected. I really thought that all this mint in the salad would just make it taste like mint. But the dressing really helped it out. You got the spice from the chilies, the sweetness from the honey, the sour from the lime juice, 
the saltiness from the soy sauce and the fish sauce, and finally the bitterness from the actual salad leaves itself. As refreshing and good that salad is, it's still a salad. It's missing some meat. So we're gonna take some leftover Costco chicken and we're gonna shred it on top of this salad. I mean, this is not necessary, but for me, salad's just not satisfying on its own. It needs some sort of protein. So for my next mint recipe, I will do the meat rolls. I mean, I feel like that's actually gonna be really good. It's basically a steak wrapped around a salad. I'm gonna change the dressing though. Anyways, that's all I got. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.